Hello there! This tutorial will show you how you can display your content post using the post list and post tab widget. This is a creative way to display your content post. It helps to make your content stand out more visually. Let's start with post list. On your site, drag and drop the post list onto your site. A list of published posts will appear right away. You can choose to display your posts or pages from the drop-down list. Now under the show post, you can display recent content or selected post. If you choose selected post, click add item and click the box to select a post from the drop-down list. We are adding three posts. You can change the post title by typing under the title option. Under settings, you can show feature image, content, and meta information such as text, author logo, date, and category. You can also set the position of the meta description to the top or bottom. Under style, you can adjust the content list further by customizing the margin or adding border. Under title, you get to change the topography such as size and color. The icon and feature image option lets you control the image with size, border, and margin. The content section lets you customize the spacing, topography, and color of the text. The meta section lets you adjust the spacing of the meta information. You can also change the color, which in this case was changed to green. The advanced section lets you add additional option for appearance. If you're happy with the look of the content, click on update and test the new look of your site. As you can see, clicking on the link takes us to the original published post. Let's now show you how you can use the post tab widget. So on your site, drag and drop the post tab widget. Then set the category or tags or formats from the drop-down list to display your content. Remember, you can set these in the back end of your WordPress dashboard. In this case, we have chosen to display content based on categories. So select the categories you have set from the drop-down list. Now set the number of content you want to display. Now under settings, set the number of columns followed by the filter position which in this case was set to the top. We also align the filter tabs to the middle. If you click on the style section, you can adjust the margin and padding of the tab. If needed, you can add a border too. The tab item lets you adjust the margin, the color of the text, and border of the filter tab. The columns section lets you adjust the spacing and margin of the columns of the content. Next, adjust the title margin and color if you need to. The meta section deals with the display of the meta information. We have already shown previously what you can do with the meta content. Just like before, Click on the advanced section if you are looking to add animation, motion effects, or explore other advanced options. Check out the videos on our channel to see how you can add animation and motion effects. For now, the final look of the content looks perfect. As you can see, the filter tab lists the content based on the filter. If we click on a post, it will show a full post of the published content.
For more information on designing your WordPress site, be sure to check out the Happy Add-ons website and subscribe to our channel. That's it for now. Stay tuned.